Hey everybody, Ryan here from Android Calls here to give you a bit of a walkthrough on how I use the Nest doorbell. Uh, the, this is the wireless model. So we can go down to the patio where I have it installed and tap it, or I can just go into the cameras and get a list of all my doorbells. So you can see because I have uh, a wired one in the front, it's always running live. The one in the back, doesn't run live all the time because it's running on a battery and it would just run down the battery so fast, so quick. So it only sort of like turns on and records when it sees an event. And we'll get into those. So I can tap it. And so right now it's just trying to tell me, oh, well, we have, you know, 24% battery, which is like still pretty awesome. The fact that, you know, the batteries lasted that long, um, you know, it's about a week left, it's telling me. I can see the live video if I want. You can see my messy backyard as everything is starting to melt. Hear my wind chimes. Don't mind my uh, recycling out there. So yeah, we can go into more. We can turn off the camera, turn it on, or whatever. No responses, etc. But the kind of neat thing is you're going to want to do is. So I'm just going to tap it here again. So it's not running live because if you run it live, it's going to run the battery down really quickly. So I can tap here, tap history, and you can sort of see what events have happened. Now, again, I don't have the subscription on this model yet, like I do in the front, where it's constantly recording for seven days. Um, the option is to pay $8 and get all your stuff on, or $80 per year, and it'll store events only, so not 24-7, but events only for the past uh, you know, 30 days, so you get more time. Um, you can't get 24-7 on the back doorbell because it's wireless and it just wouldn't be able to. Even wired, they say it's not good for the battery just to continue to be used, charging, used, charging. So this is an event that it, it captured. It says there was a person in the fence zone, and I'll talk to you about the zone, but it must have been a glitch because I don't see any persons that were back there. Now, you can see I can't go back. Oh, there's another event here. There was two events. Okay, there were two events. Said this other while I saw a person. But I can't see anything beyond three hours ago if there was, even if there was events. So if I do full history, you can see all the events now. Again, anything before three hours ago, it goes away because I don't pay for it. Yeah, I'm going to switch over soon. Um, so yeah, so that's what we can we can skip ahead to a time and see if we see anybody. No, no, I can't see anybody. Weird. Okay, so I'm just a little bit of a glitch, but we can go around and check the settings here, so we can see the device itself. We can see the notification settings. Uh, the notifications are set up based on what we call the events or the zones um, and what events happen in which zones. So in the doorstep area, I can tap that. I can show you, you know, in that zone right now, it's going to notify me if it sees people. It's going to notify me if it sees a package, sees an animal. I don't care to be notified about a vehicle or any other just general motion it's going to tell me about. The fence, I have a zone in the very back there where the fence is. So if I see people around my fence, it'll notify me. If I see packages, I don't care. Animals would be maybe neat. Vehicles, I know that's where we park anyway, so we're, we don't care about that. The shed door, again, same idea. I want to know if there's people, animals are motion back there. And outside, I just want people under motion. I don't care about packages. We can go into battery mode and we, you know, talk about battery saver mode. If so, if it gets really low on battery, it's only going to record when people actually ring the doorbell. Or I have mine set to custom, right? So different settings, you know. Or do you want it to last more, or do you have more recordings? Up to you how you'd want to play with that. So this is where the events are. So we can set the events. So what is an event that it'll record at the different zones? Do you want it to record? At the doorstep, I wanted to record people, packages, animals, or motion. The back, I just only wanted to record if I see you know, certain things. And then outside those zones, what kind of things we want. The doorbell itself, right? We can play around with visitor announcement. 
Um, if I have the Nest Aware, we can it'll actually recognize names, so it'll actually say hey, I'm at is at the back door. Again, I got to pay for it. I have pay for it in the front, but I don't in the back. Um, again, I'm going to change that. The doorbell theme, uh, ding dong. It doesn't play these for us to hear it, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, now, the interesting thing, because it's not wired into the rest of the system, uh, it's not going to ring my actual chime in my house, but that's okay. It goes off every Google Assistant device automatically. That's You'll hear that before you hear the, the chime. The video itself, right now we just get the three-hour video, so a three-hour history of it. Anything older than three hours is gone. I've set it to record. When it sees it in an event, record for two minutes. Um, we can change the sensitivity. We can change the quality of the video. I don't think I need to have it max myself. That way it saves battery life. Um, we can also play around with audio. So, so far, I'm really liking this device. So, again, we can go right to live and watch live video. You can hear the wind going, knocking the wind chimes around. It does pretty well. Like, I kind of like it. It's loud. So, anyways, like I said, a little bit different than how things work in the front with the fully wired front door. The fact that it's always connected and I pay for the service to have 24 triple hours scrippable, so I can always tap here. And well, in NAS, the NAS app, I could go ahead and actually look at all the different events. So, and scrub through. So, anyways, that's the recap. I hope you guys like it. Talk to you soon. Ciao.